Hello, study animated family. Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we are diving deep into the intricate process of spermatogenesis, the fascinating journey of sperm cell development within the male reproductive system. So, grab your virtual lab coats and let's explore the world of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis is a crucial biological process that ensures the production of mature and functional sperm cells. It takes place in the testes, those remarkable organs responsible for producing testosterone and, of course, sperm. Now, let's break it down. Spermatogenesis occurs in three main phases, the mitotic phase, the meiotic phase and finally, spermiogenesis. In the mitotic phase, spermatogonia, the germ cells, undergo repeated divisions to increase their numbers. So this phase is also known as the multiplication phase. Some of these cells remain as spermatogonia for future cycles, while others move on to the next phase. Hypothalamus gland in the brain releases GnRH, gonadotrophin releasing hormone, which act on pituitary gland and makes it to release the gonadotrophin's FSH, follicle-stimulating hormone, and LH, euteinizing hormone. FSH acts on Sertoli cells and initiates the spermatogenesis. Sertoli cells also release inhibin, which inhibits hypothalamus from releasing more GnRH. Also Sertoli cells known as nurse cells as they provide nutrition to the maturing sperms. Sertoli cells also release anaphase-promoting complex and antimalarian factor. And LH act on Leydig's or interstitial cells to produce testosterone and support the various stages of sperm cell development. Next up is the meiotic or growth phase, where these specialized cells undergo two rounds of cell division, meiosis 1, which produce primary spermatocyte which is still deployed, and meiosis 2, which produces haploid secondary spermatocytes. Hence, this results in the formation of haploid cells, each carrying half the genetic information of the original spermatogonium. Finally, spermiogenesis. This phase involves the transformation of round spermatids into elongated, tail-bearing sperm cells. This intricate process ensures that each sperm cell is equipped with the necessary components for its journey. Now that we have our mature sperm cells, let's take a closer look at their structure and functions. From the head containing the genetic material to the tail for motility, each part plays a crucial role in the journey towards fertilization. And there you have it, our journey through the captivating world of spermatogenesis. I hope you enjoyed this animated exploration. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to Study Animated for more engaging content and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of science.